Because Chris was still, I just left drama school, so. Yeah, I'd never done. And you'd done a bunch of auditions, right? I'd auditioned for like probably 70 projects, but nothing had stuck. I'm um, amazed that you didn't get snapped up, so I was just so, <laughs> yeah, so I, relieved that, um, that, that so there relieved. you were. There yeah. you were out there and, and undiscovered, and <laughs> it was a great moment. Well, I love the idea of doing Dali in the 70s. Because everyone associates him with the 1930s and the pan surrealism of the past. And the fact that he was very active and he knew Alice Cooper and was making art with Alice Cooper and he was going to, you know, nightclubs. And he was really, you know, Dali in his 70s, he was out there. And I was young in New York in the late 70s, so to me this was a chance to recreate a, a time I love. Well, I remember seeing the audition in my email and showing it to a friend and I was like, this is so cool. I was like, this is brilliant. And then I read the script. I was like, it's wonderful. I was like, too bad. I'm never going to do it. Because <laughs> Sir Ben was already attached. And a lot of people were already attached. And it just seemed like so much bigger than me, which it is. It still is to this day. For various reasons, uh, we were a week into production and we didn't have a James. Mm -hmm. And so, because someone had dropped out. So I was scouring and I went through all the uh, drama school showcases. Um, and from A and then got to P, Pace University. And, um, and what was great was when I saw Chris's photo, it's like, he looks perfect. It's too good, he will not be able to act. And then he sent in his first tape, and it was, it was, it was like, this is James. It was perfect. But what helped a lot were the, just the parallels of my own life and James's life, because James is going through something, as I was saying sort of before, it's just so much bigger than him and there's so much to take in, and it's everything he loves, you know? He's a beautiful part of the story, and just the way he is able to see the world, so I was able to do that. It, it, you know, just the people that you admire, and um, the curiosity, like, I have about other actors I respect, and James's curiosity about artists he respects, and it was, it was just sort of all there in front of me. I just had to be willing to pull it. Especially when you did, because I've made two films about artists, visual artists, Warhol and Dali, who are very connected, and Warhol actually learned a great deal from Dali about, you know, persona. It's almost impossible to illustrate the creative process, and I think the, the best way is to come at it in an oblique angle, not directly through the person, but through the eyes of someone looking at them, experiencing them. There is a, a, a very strong dynamic that you get when you only have 25 days to shoot, you know, and, and in a way there's no room for temperament, there's no room for you know, self, a lot of self-indulgence on my part. Um, you know, you, you really have to keep up a fast pace, which I think does help the actors and probably helped you because you, you can't really break concentration and you can't break character. You know, apart from like it's a break at lunch or maybe you'll get a cup of coffee, but, but you're basically charging through. And I do think that creatively there's, there's an engine that helps.